So I thought I'd give you an update on what's been going on in New World. As some of you may have seen, my start wasn't the best, but thankfully, due to me playing on an NA server, it means that if I get up, I'm usually five hours earlier than most of the US audience. So this was great, and I got back onto the server, and I finally had some time to think, and I just want to go over some things about the game. Again, this is primarily for people who are coming in and wanting to buy and just give them an idea of what's going on. So as I'm sure you're aware, the reviews on this are a bit of a mixed bag. Some people are liking it, other people are in the middle ground, which is where I see it, and other people are just absolutely hating it. And I think a lot of this comes down simply due to the fact that it's been a long time since we've had a big MMO that we can all get hyped about. Everyone, quite rightly so, isn't touching WoW with a barge pole at the moment. And aside that, at least here in the West, you've really only got Final Fantasy to talk about at the moment. So I'm going to keep this objective and I'm going to talk, put it into two sides. Basically, the things that I enjoy about the game and the things that I don't like so much. So my first point is the crafting. This is the third time I've mentioned it, so I'm going to keep it light. But essentially, the crafting is really, really fun. From the noises it makes to the whole leveling system behind it, it's just pretty damn good. The fact that there are like a total of six gathering professions and then there's like six, I think at least, um, professions that you can level, it gives you a lot to do. And the thing is, it's not like typical MMOs where the resources are all hidden away and you've got to find a node here and there. It, they're just everywhere. You can just dig in, you can start chopping away and you, you, know, you can spend a great deal of time doing it. And this also counts towards your progression because you'll get leveling and you'll get quests for doing this and it's, you know, it's a pretty good thumbs up from me. The next thing I want to talk about is the world itself. It is a very, very pretty game. It looks fantastic. My partner came in earlier and she saw all the visuals of it and was like, wow, this looks so good. And I highly agree with her. From the vegetation to the fauna to the skylines, it looks absolutely gorgeous and the world is pleasant to be in. There are some games that have very strong gameplay that just don't have that core visuality and therefore you kind of put it to the side because you enjoy the loops and the whole experience that it sets up for you. Now one part I also like is the classless system. Now on one side I quite like it. I like the idea that my class can be all the subclasses that I create just on the same entity. But at the same time I don't feel this is necessarily a good thing either because everyone ends up really looking the same. And we'll get into this a little bit later on but just everything feels a little bit too samey and if you have a look at other games where it have very strong core defined archetypes for example if there's a ranger class then there will be a whole sort of aesthetics and there'll be armor that leads to that stylism and it's like you actually belong to a core identity now admittedly you could just say well the classes will end up looking the same but again it feels like you're part of something in new world you've just got a bunch of people who look roughly the same except you identify them by usually the weapons that they have on their backs for the most part armors are the same they just have different stats on them everyone has a shield put on their back while it's not necessary a reason to not play the game i think it is worth mentioning because role play is a big core concept of mmorpgs be it if you are a hardcore pvper or fully into the whole rp verse so i want to talk about some of the things that are less than pleasant so while i've mentioned the fact that the grinding of crafting and that whole system is quite enjoyable what isn't is the actual PvE element. And when I say enjoyable, I mean the weapon systems just feel completely off and out of whack. And I was looking for a way to describe it. And my friend came to me yesterday and said, this game feels like the GTA 5 melee combat. And that was it. That was exactly how the game feels. If you've ever played it, that kind of loose, wild Rambo fisting, almost like you're fighting with two giant floppy sausages. Nothing feels precise or accurate or like just cutthroat. If you're looking for something that almost plays like a beat em up in an MMO, which has like precise timings and you can do counter moves, this is not the game for you. It's like someone's created a level on Street Fighter where there's just tons of soap bars all over the floor and you're just wish-washing all over the place. There's always this soft, spongy kind of element to all the combat. And also the fact that none of the systems seem to marry well together. There's always a delay or a lag on the blocking when you want to use it, so it never feels like it's reliable or precise. While there is this dodge mechanic, it all feels like it's attached to this invisible global cooldown system. So regardless if you have got stamina to use another dodge again, 
you don't really get to use it because this internal cooldown is preventing you and then it all falls out of whack and you still get hit. And then you ask yourself, well, why did I ever use the dodge in the first place? Sometimes you do get brief glimpses of it actually working in its full process and all the clocks seem to be working in harmony and it feels like there is a smooth execution to it. But these incidences are so far and few between and I don't know if it is server lag or just the mechanics of the game but it always just never feels natural and nice. The other bugbear that I have is the whole questing system. As you may know most of the travel in this game is all done by foot. There are two exceptions for this. There is the ability to use the innkeeper which you can teleport back to your hometown that you set. This however comes on an hour cooldown. The other option that you have is to use the fast travel. However, that comes at a cost of a resource and this resource doesn't drop as often as you think. Now, this might be the case that it changes later on into the game, but so far in terms of early gameplay, it has been incredibly painful. So why is this a problem? Well, because the further you go into a quest line, the further it goes away into a hub. And this wouldn't necessarily be such of a problem if it wasn't the fact that every quest that you do sends you back to the same point once you hand it in. So the flow ends up working like this. You go off, you complete your quest, then you have to run all the way back. You hand it in, you then have to run all the way back again, and then run all the way back. If you happen to decide that you want to go and gather some resources at any given point, God forbid, you'll then have to run all the way back and run all the way back again, empty it into your bank, which we'll get on into a bit, and then run all the way back. It's almost like they've designed the system to put this soft gatekeep on your time so that you'll spend a majority of the levelling process running around so you don't complete it too quickly. I don't understand why these quest covers aren't generally closer to the point that they're associated with. I'll give you an example of one. There's a quest where you have to go off and kill a couple of pirate captains. You run, which takes about 6-7 minutes all the way to the point. You then kill the people. You come back, which is another 6 or 7 minutes. You then got to run again for another 6 or 7 minutes to get some more blood and then run back. And I thought myself as a fairly patient person, but it just gets a bit tiresome. Now my last gripe which is to do with the travel system and the crafting. For those that don't know, for every settlement there is a localised auction house. As well as this, there's also a localised storage depot which you can put all your stuff for that settlement in that area. Now if you go to another settlement and you want to transfer your stuff, you can do so, but you have to be part of the controlling party that owns A, the town that you're in, and the one that you came from. Now, if you're not in a team that controls both of these, you can begin to see the problem that arises. Because if you need to transfer resources between the two, you end up going on incredibly long, arduous, pack mule-like journeys. Now, admittedly, you could just use fast travel, but again, the problem is, this is a finite resource and doesn't drop all that often. And if you're someone like me who spent a majority of the early game just enjoying crafting and doing the leveling and then you realise that you need to use a tier 3 engineer's desk because it's not in your area, it involves you triping across the whole map just boringly transporting goods. And maybe it's just me, but I don't think this game was designed for you to just be this logistic mule running from one point to the other. Now, regardless of what I've said, I am still currently playing this game and I'm still enjoying the tasks that I'm doing and exploring all the different weapons and their abilities is cool. My worrying concern is that all these little issues will compound and eventually be enough for people to start leaving the game. And this game really does ride on its mechanics and its unique spin on PvP. The PvE story driven element of it is just a non-entity. I don't even know what's going on apart from occasionally some red dudes with a red glowing head or stomach come and attack me and I've got to stop them. Because to games like WoW and Final Fantasy this just doesn't hold a torch to them. There's no one so far that you've been able to build up a rapport with or get close to. There's not some strong character story driven leader that you can get behind in these scenarios. But maybe this game was never meant to achieve that. But I feel that for those who do want it, this will be another reason why they may want to eventually just put this game down. Anyway, this is my day two discussion. I will be doing more videos on this. I hope you're all well. But what I will say is don't take my experiences to heart. If you are enjoying the game, then that's fine. And that's perfectly okay because we all have different interpretations of the things that we enjoy. But for now, I will be back with more diary videos on this. I hope you're all well and have a great week.